Right, so boys and girls, we're going to look at a group that is based out in Paraguay, I believe it is. And they are going to create some instruments. Well, not necessarily create, but get some instruments that are made from some very unusual sources. Take a minute and see if you can figure out which ones, what, where these instruments are coming from. Mi nombre es Ada Maribel Ríos Bogado, tengo 13 años y toco el violín. Me llamo Juan Manuel Chávez, más conocido como Baby, tengo 19 años y toco el chelo. Este chelo está hecho de una lata de aceite, la madera tirada en la basura y las clavijas son de una vieja cuchara para golpear la carne y para hacer el ñoquis. Y suena así. Una comunidad como Cateura no es un lugar para tener un violín. De hecho, el violín, un violín cuesta más que su casa. En ese grupo acá mismo encontramos el colado de violín y de ese empezamos los instrumentos reciclados. La familia que acá vive recicla todo lo que hay en la basura y se vende. No pensaba antes que yo voy a hacer esa instrumento y me siento demasiado feliz cuando estoy viendo a un niño que está tocando un violín reciclado. Cuando ya escucho el sonido del violín siento como mariposa en el estómago, así una sensación que no sé cómo voy a explicar. Bueno, la orquesta de instrumentos reciclados es una orquesta que toca instrumentos hechos con la basura. La gente se da cuenta que no tenemos que tirar la basura muy fácilmente. Y no tenemos que desechar a las personas muy fácilmente. ¡Fuerte, fuerte! All of our percussion instruments can be made out of different things. It, we've had percussion as far back as cavemen banging a stick on the ground or banging a stick against a rock or rocks against rocks. They have been around forever. So we're going to listen to a group that is using some boom whackers like we have up at school and they have different colors and I want you to see if you can kind of figure out what's different about each of those colors.
All right, as you may have noticed, each of those different colors had a different pitch. So every single person had to know exactly when to play because they only had that one note. So playing at the correct time, playing together, locking into that beat, that was all very important. We are now going to look and see how we can create some of these boom whackers at home. All right, so for today's choice workshop, you're going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and four paper towel rolls. So when you are doing your activity today, we need to figure out, do our sounds stay the same or do they or are they different? So I start off by tapping my boom whacker, my paper towel boom whacker. Well, those two sound pretty much the same, so that would be a good place to start. That one sounds pretty much the same. Then I have this one. That one sounds a little bit different. So different paper towel rolls may have different pitches. This one's a different paper towel type than these. So, and the thickness plays a role in all that kind of stuff. So it's easier if you have the same kind of paper towel roll. So these three sound about the same because they came from the same co company. This one sounded a little bit different because it was a little bit different company. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to this and then I'm gonna try and base everything else off of that one. So I'm not gonna change this one. This one is about the length of a row of a ruler, about 10 and three quarter inches. So I wanna start there. I know that if I go right here in the middle, I'm gonna have the same note, but I'm gonna have it a little bit higher. So the only area I can cut is from here down. So I have to leave this other half alone. So I don't, ever take off very much. So, let's see, I'm gonna start about right here though. And we're gonna see if, sometimes it works better if you have a little notch in there, to kind of get it started. Either that or you might be able to do it straight across, but then you take a chance on not having it as um, round as you might like it. So there's my start. And I'm going to just go around now. So I'm just going to go around little by little and see where I am. Because you can always take off more, but you can't ever add it back on. So I don't want to take off very much at any one time. So now I listen and compare these. So I have that one sounds like it's a step. I want to go up a skip though, so I need to go a little bit more. So, let's see. Let's see how that changed it. Still sounds about like a step. I need to go a little bit more. Let's see. Don't want to go too much, but I got to get a little bit higher for the for the interval that I'm wanting. I kind of would like to have it be a skip apart. So I'm taking this, cutting a little bit more. out for flying cardboard. So let's see where I'm at now. Still not quite enough. So I need to go even more. I'm wanting. I need to go a little bit more. Bring it up a little bit more. Not much, just a little. Let's see. So that's pretty. 
pretty close. So, now I want to use this one and base the next one off of it. I need to go a little bit higher, a little bit more on this. Take a little bit more off that first one. That's why our ears are so important because they're going to tell us when to stop. So. Still even more. this one to kind of base this one off of. I know that if I go that same distance down, I'll be at the same pitch, but I know I have to be at least that far and even higher. So I'm going to go on and cut a little bit more. Let's see, that should get me close to where that is. See kind of where we're at. All right now they're the same, but I need to go a little bit more. because it's a little bit short. We're going to go even a little bit more. Still not quite where I need it to be. a little bit. So now I got my next one. It's got to be at least this one's a different brand, so it may not be needing it quite as much. So, let's see how much I really need to cut off. I want this one to be a step away, though. So, I'm going to start it, say, right here. Quite there yet. I'm looking for it to be a step apart. So let's see. Take off even more. Okay, getting closer. Still not quite there. Getting closer though. bit more. 
Not much, but just a little. Here I have my boom markers, and you'll notice that as they got, as they get bigger, that they're going to get lower, and as they get shorter, they're going to get higher. So right here I have so using a paper towel roller with some. Uh, strength to it is a really good thing because it helps the sound project out better. This one's a little bit weak so it doesn't project out as much. So as you are looking at this, uh, we want to kind of have it there. I don't think it's quite right though. Uh, you're going to have to play around and kind of see where your notes are. So, for mine, like I said, I started out with one that was at about 10 and 7 eighths. Then I had one that went to 8 and 3 quarters. Then my next one went from to uh, seven and sorry about ten sixteenths. And then my last one was at about seven and one sixteenth. So like I was saying though, different brands will require different cuts. So you're gonna have to play around, but we're trying to make the do me so la group here of our boom markers. So take your time and see if you can figure that out. Then once you have that figured out, see if you can play a song. Ready? And my, one of my favorite songs was better if we were to tap it like that. Let's see. Ready and go. So there would be our song. And I don't know if you could tell or not, but I was playing Peace Porridge Hot. Let's try King's Landing. some homemade boom whackers and I hope that you have fun playing with them and making them.